Hello. In today's session, I'd like to pick up on some ideas that we've already begun to think about. If you viewed my most recent video, you'll remember that we were talking about how our lives can become symbols of what we think is most important, just like a poppy is a symbol of our remembrance and gratitude to those who gave their lives in war. Before that, I spoke about what distinguishes loving from liking. Do you remember that I explained how liking leaves things as they are, but loving transforms them? And that session finished with a very famous verse from the Bible, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. So I want today then to think further about what it means to believe in something, for Christians to believe in Jesus, and what belief in general is really all about. Now we're used to thinking that beliefs are something which go on in our heads, in our minds, that beliefs are really just a certain type of thought. They are intellectual, they're mental occurrences. Beliefs are about having the right ideas up here in our brains. But if we don't see any more than this, we're actually missing something crucial from the bigger picture. Because beliefs don't stay in our heads, but come out in our lives. What do I mean by this? I suppose I mean that if we want to discover what a person's beliefs are, we have to do more than to just ask them. For example, someone might say that they believe you must always be kind to other people. But if we then saw them being horrible to the people around them, we'd probably conclude that that wasn't their belief after all. Beliefs, then, are manifested in behaviours. I'll show you what I mean. In the last session, I had my jacket on to show you my poppy. But imagine that you saw me in a different situation, sitting here in my dining room, and you see me put my jacket on. What do you think might be my beliefs at that moment? Maybe you'd conclude that I believed I was cold. Conversely, if I went over and opened a window, you might decide that my belief was that I was too warm. Do you see what I mean when I say that beliefs are manifested, which means shown or revealed, in our behaviour, in the things that we do? Let's come back to our Bible verse then, John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he sent his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him may not perish, but may have eternal life. If we ask somebody whether they believe in God, it isn't simply asking what's in their heads, because beliefs are revealed in practice. Incidentally, one of the biggest and stupidest arguments in the history of Christianity was about a subject related to this called faith versus works. The two sides of the argument couldn't agree whether it was simply faith or belief that would get a person into heaven, or whether doing good actions was necessary as well. Now, I don't think the people arguing had properly read their Bibles, because if we turned on a few pages from John 3.16, we would come to the letter of St James, and James chapter 2 verse 18 gives the answer to this argument. St James writes, Show me your faith apart from your works, and I by my works will show you my faith. So just as we've said so far in this session, behaviour reveals belief. Works, or actions, reveal faith. So is it, it isn't enough just to say that we believe in God. It isn't enough even just to have it in our heads. It needs to be put into practice in the way that we live our lives. I think we can show this in three significant ways, as follows. First of all, by our generosity and kindness, what we might call doing good deeds. And this shows that we believe in God for two reasons. First, it shows that we're listening to what God has commanded, because he's asked us to love one another just as he's loved us. Second, it shows that we don't expect our rewards only to come in this life, because being good, as we know, is sometimes difficult. Being generous, putting other people first, is sometimes hard. If this life is all we have, it doesn't actually make sense to think of other people. We should get as much as we can for ourselves while we can, before our time runs out. But if we know that something greater and more amazing awaits us in heaven, we're not going to worry if we have to put other people first. If you know that there's another pizza on the way to your table in a restaurant, you'll let somebody else have the last slice. And that's one good logical reason not to be selfish, because God has stored up blessings for us which are still to come. After doing good deeds, the second way that we demonstrate that we believe in God is through prayer. 
because prayer is a conversation and you can't just have a conversation with yourself. Conversations require two or more people and so praying shows that we believe that God is at the other end of the line. You don't ring a number if you don't think anyone's going to answer and you don't say prayers unless you believe in God. So prayer, by ourselves and together in church and in collective worship, is really important and is a second way of showing what we really believe. The third and final way in which we demonstrate our belief in Jesus really wraps up our two previous ways together. It comes down to this. Does our behaviour point other people towards God? Do our lives show that we believe the gospel to be a reality, something essential to the way in which we live? If another person knew nothing at all about Jesus, would they automatically start to learn something about him just from looking at our lives? I heard a very challenging question once on this topic, and the question began by reminding us that in many countries, being Christian is still against the law. That in itself is something we should stop and think about, that there are some Christians in the world today who fear for their lives if they show their faith. And still they continue, still they carry on. They set us a very challenging and brave example. If they're prepared to risk so much, what are we prepared to do? And the question to which I was listening went on to ask this. Imagine that Christianity was also illegal in this country, in the UK. Would there be enough evidence to convict you? Could a detective look at your life and find clues of Christianity? If so, you probably do really believe in God. So our takeaway today is that belief is shown in behaviour. What we do reveals what we think. Belief needs to result in action. Faith needs to show itself in works. So let's conclude our time together today by praying. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we offer you all of ourselves. Please continue changing and renewing our minds. Warm our hearts to believe in you, to have faith in you, to trust you, and to know you more deeply and intimately. Please work through us and show your love through us towards other people. Please help our minds and our words reflect your love. Please reveal yourself more and more to us so that we can be always overwhelmed by your glory. Build our faith. You are both our destination and our journey. Help us to cherish you more and more. Create in us hearts of thankfulness, joy and humility. Fan our flame of passion for serving you and others and your church. Amen. And the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Thank you all very much, and I look forward to seeing you again next week.